So guys to create this packet first add a plane and res rescale it to the size you want by pressing S. Now rotate it on the X axis by clicking R plus X then type 90. Now click tab and go to the edit mode. Now add about 40 loop cuts. Click Ctrl R then type 40. So this will be the amount of loop cuts that we want and like how smooth will it be. The factor of the loop cuts should be 0. Now add 40 loop cuts on this side also by clicking Ctrl R then type 40. Now select the upper upper edges and the bottom ones so for that first click 2 and then select the upper edges so right now I'm selecting the upper edges and let's go down by clicking shift and using the scroll wheel click on the scroll wheel and now let we have selected both of these this uh, this is actually gonna be the seal of our packet so scale this by clicking S then Z so about this much should be fine so after you have done this add the solidify modifier and yes remember to apply this modifier Now go to edit mode and click tree. Now select the upper and bottom faces as this is going to be our seal of the packet. So after selecting this create a vertex group of this and double click this group right in here and rename this vertex group to whatever you want. I'll, re I'll rename it as package S which stands for packet sealing. Now yes, let's go to the important part. Add the cloth simulation and scroll down until you find pressure. Click the pressure checkbox and increase this pressure value to about 1. Now scroll down and open the shape drop box and in the pin group select your vertex group which I renamed as package S. Now scroll down and in the shrinking value enter minus 0 0.010. Now go down to the field weights and reduce the gravity value to about 0. So this will remove the gravity from this package. From this packet. So as you can see, let's start our animation and select the frame where you find that your packet packet is perfect so this is perfect for me now go to modifiers and apply the cloth modifier wait okay I'll apply it again okay so now you can shade smooth it and as you can see it's now a mesh it's no more a simulation and it's a mesh so now you can edit this packet and even texture it so that it looks like a real chips or any type of a packet so guys thanks for watching and i hope you learned something new and have a great day